Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're going to do a video today where we're talking about release, a really common um, word that's used in around golf and in lessons. So we're going to talk about what the hands and the club are actually doing through impact. We've got some high speed footage, which hopefully will really show you how the body, hands and the club are relating to each other through impact. So loads to do. Let's get stuck in. So release, so commonly talked about. What we're gonna talk about, let's uh, start with physical. Because when it comes to release, there is a feel-based kind of uh, teaching method, if you like, or way of thinking about it, where people talk about flipping the hands and rolling the wrists and rolling the forearms. And then there's the actual physical of what happens. And you can choose to take from this video whatever makes you hit the ball better, may it be the the physical truth and try and perform that. Uh, and for some people, it's not that, that doesn't help. It's actually feeling words like rolling the club over, delivering the toe first, those kind of things, which we've talked about in lots of other videos. So release, basically what is the release and uh, what is going on? So the release basically consists of me getting from this position as I'm coming in to hit the ball where the club if you like, is behind my hands, delivering the club into the ball into a straight position, so the club's now caught up with my hands, and then the club moving forward of my hands, which makes it look like the face is turning over, so the club is rotating in relationship to my hands as it comes through. That's what the release is. Now, when you look at release on a video camera, so if I face the camera here, what happens is you see pictures like this on the telly of people hitting shots where my hands look like they've crossed over. I've rolled my hands and people feel that as turning their hands through the ball. That's because you're getting used to seeing uh, golf in two dimensions. You're used to watching it on flat screens. We've all got iPhones. People have all had lessons using video and what have you. And used to seeing it in this flat format, this two dimensional format. So what happens if I do something like this? If I stand up here, and just think, you can do this at home as well, and think about this. If I just turn my body to face where I want the ball to go, so if I do that again, just ask yourself, have I twisted my hands or not? So if I just turn my body there, okay, and now if I just look down at where the ball should be, let my body stay where it is, on your screen there, that'll look like my left hand's below my right, like my hands are crossed. Well, they have if you look from that angle, but all I've actually done is turned some of myself and the club that way and left some of myself back here. So I'm very contorted in my body, which makes my arms look like they've twisted. I haven't actually turned them. As you can see, all I've done is turn my body forwards. So the release is literally a case of getting the club from behind your hands to catch up with your hands and then just move slightly forward of your hands in a circular, semi-circle kind of a fashion. So not even straight. Remember, club's always swinging on a plane, on a path, which is on an angle, so it's always coming on a bit of a hoop. It's not traveling straight. And that's often where people go wrong with release because, again, facing the camera, two dimensions. People are thinking of golf more in this straight, flat perspective. So if I again get into this impact position or post impact position, my arms are straight. People think they're straight out towards the target. Well, my arms are straight, but they're straight and to the left because I've turned. They're not straight out to the target. They're not following a line towards the target. They're actually parallel to my target because they're moving on that circular motion. So I've got some high speed footage here of hitting shots, which you'll see, I'll use it in the video, um, where you see me hitting shots, and as I come in to hit the ball, my hips are set. They've almost stopped as they start hitting the ball. My shoulders have set. My hands are almost ready to hit the ball. The club is left behind, and then what happens is I literally take the angle out of my hands to deliver the club, and my hands move forward a little bit, and the club overtakes my hands. So what happens is my hands are literally going from, so thumb pointing 45 degrees out to the right, thumb pointing to target, thumb, oh sorry, thumb pointing 45 degrees to the right, thumb pointing to the ball, 
thumb pointing to target or parallel to target I should say it's actually pointing about a yard left of target like your feeder and that's my release my hands are not moving this way at any time they are not rolling over look a drill let's give you a drill to think about this what I want you to do is take your set up to a ball take one of your canes here or you can use a club and just put it so it's on the heel back of the heel of my left foot touching the toe of my right foot then with the second cane just pop that down so it's parallel to your ball to target line step into your address position then what I want you to do is just set the club back so it's parallel with the green line on the floor here and so the face is also parallel with that green line on the floor now I want you from here to try and get your club on the way through parallel to this yellow line but I want you to do it in two ways first thing I want you to do is just open up your hips let your right foot peel off let your shoulders just start to square up to slightly open now from here just bring the club over the ball putting your thumb down at the ball and then try and get the club parallel to that line on the ground and you'll feel from that open position so hips open so I'm trying to get my hips open almost to the same amount as the green line on the floor club shaft parallel to the green line on the floor let my shoulders just open right foot up feel my weight on my left so an impact position that is very easy from there to get my thumb pointing down towards the target of this club parallel to that one on the ground now what I see a lot of faults in day to day if I was to say push my hips forward early extension we've seen lots of videos with that and even close my shoulders slightly now I put the club parallel to the green line on the floor this time if I choose to keep my body where it is so this weaker impact position I can nearly get my thumb to the ball but I have to start fudging it flicking my wrist bending my arm I can never without getting into such a contorted position get this club parallel to the ground on the uh, to the stick on the floor the only way I can do it is by literally taking my left hand off the club it's what's peeling off so is that a lack of release that's leaving that face behind leaving that open no it's not a lack of release it's an inability to release or an inability to use your hand in the way it needs to move because your body's in the way so this is where good players will never really think too much generally I mean some might but most won't of flipping hands over because it's too dangerous and they're aware it doesn't happen they're going to try and get their club squaring up much more by turning their body into the ball getting their body out of the way so they can get from this position where the thumb is on this stick on the floor and the club deliver the thumbs to the ball and then thumb to target which in effect is the release but at no point in this um, movement am I rolling flipping over I'm literally rotating my thumb from here to there so on the line on the floor to parallel to that line behind me on the floor and this is a great drill for you to feel what release should feel like and it's a great drill for you to feel how easy that movement is if your body's out the way or not so you should try some set yourself up cane on the floor between your heel and your toe of your right foot heel of your left toe of your right line on behind that which is parallel to your ball to target line what you can do set the club back to that first position parallel to the line on the floor open up your hips and literally just chip the ball a yard two yards out in front of you trying to get this club thumbs to the target and the uh, or parallel to the target I should say and this club parallel to the one on the ground what you'll find is the ball tends to chip very straight the strike might be a bit funny but the ball will just tend to chip very straight because you get from point A to point B in between there will probably be a zero marker which is where your face hopefully will be try a couple then where you push your hips towards the target maybe close your shoulders okay set the shaft there now try and hit it there well without moving your body well it's hard I mean look I've stopped the only way I can go forward from here is to bend my arm the chicken wing starts coming into play flip my wrist to try and fudge the face back into target so at the end of the day if you want to get your release working you have to have your body working now if you're someone who feels it's hard to move your body then this is where rolling the wrist 
delivering the toe first, all these kind of phrases can actually help you get a feel of what the face is doing in relationship to open and close strikes. But really the moral here and the, the thing that you really want to work on is working on getting your body to actually move more successfully through impact and on the downswing. The more I set my hips more open before I hit the ball, it's very easy to make this simple little so thumb pointing 45 degrees that way to thumb pointing more towards parallel to the target on this line on the floor and then the face is squaring up somewhere in between there. So an interesting video guys, let me know what you think. Release, release is, it's not this. It can feel like this. Release needs to be lots more of this kind of action where you're literally rotating your body to try and control that face. And as you see from the high speed camera footage, my hands aren't really rolling. They're literally just coming through with my body. They're coming through with the head of the club. And what's happening is it's all taking its order. So the hips are getting there first, then the shoulders delivered, then my hands delivered. Then I deliver the club. The club's traveling the fastest at this point, so faster than my hands, faster than my shoulders, certainly faster than my hips, because they've dropped off. And then that just passes in front of me before then I start to just use my body to finish off that follow through. See how it goes. Give it a practice. Release is an interesting one. I'm not saying this video is going to particularly help you overnight. It might help you understand the concept a little bit more. But there's so many other permutations to release if your grip's not right. So if I set my grip incorrectly, trying to do this movement and hit the ball straight is impossible. I have to start doing other certain faults. So if you've got some basic fundamentals in your grip and your setup and you want to hit the ball straight and you want to get the right amount of release, you've got to try and sync your hands and the club up together to some basic lines, which this drill really helps you with. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.